And President Uhuru Kenyatta has ordered an immediate and fast-tracked investigation into Thursday's shooting incident that claimed four lives at Masimba area of Kajiado County. The president dispatched a team of high-level security officers led by Interior Cabinet Secretary Dr. Fred Matiangi, who assured residents of Masimba that the killer of their kin will be brought to book. This, as the Independent Policing Oversight Authority, IPOA, launched investigations into the killing suspected to have been orchestrated by a GSU officer who is suspected to have shot into a rioting crowd, killing four people. Hassan Mugambi with the details. At the homestead of Nditu Tereo, one of the four people shot dead during Thursday's demonstrations in Masimba area of Kajiado County, grief engulfed his family that is yet to come to terms with his sudden demise. The 38-year-old is reported to have come home and was informed that his wife was taking part in the protest over the invasion of wildlife. His fate was sealed when he went after her at Masimba. A story that is shared in three other homesteads in Masimba area. A story of needless deaths. Those that witnessed saying things went awry in Thursday's demonstration when an officer drawn from the anti-riot police unit of the GSU allegedly opened fire at the protesters, killing four on the spot. Friday afternoon and angry Interior Cabinet Secretary Fred Matiangi, together with Police Inspector General Hilary Mutiambai, visited the area following orders from President Uhuru Kenyatta. Matiangi apologized to the people and vowed to get to the bottom of it. The CS acknowledged the demonstrators were seeking attention of the government on the ongoing human wildlife conflict which has claimed lives and loss of property. And with that, he promised compensation. <laughs> He also said that the government will fund the burial expenses of the four people killed Thursday and foot medical fees for other seven injured on that day. The Independent Policing Oversight Authority, IPOA, has also dispatched a team of officers to investigate the matter and draw recommendations on who among the officers should face the four counts of murder. Hassan Mugambi, Citizen TV.